All right, so the old man needs to make a video. I'm gonna help him with that. Let's go to him. Oh, hi, Benji. How you done? What's up? What are you doing? Hey, it's Fast Axe. Fast Axe. Hi, Taco Janky. What's up? What's Taco, what'd you call me? <laughs> Taco Janky. Taco Janky? Yeah. Hmm? What fool? I gotta, I gotta go work, dude. Oh, we gotta make a video. I got no time for video. Respect the grind. Let's go. Respect the grind? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Dude, seriously, I gotta, I gotta be working like half hour. Alright. Half hour for videos. Wait, what did you have in mind? I don't know. What do you have in mind? Did you... Are you shooting over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, did you, what, have, what have you been recording all day? Is this a video? What are you doing? Yeah. Like, what have you been doing? Is, is there is there an intro to this? Nope. Is this the intro? <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't have anything going on at the moment. Well, you better you know so what? what? I don't know what I can make. What kind of video I can make out of like 10 minutes. We do have Tech Warehouse unboxing there. Ooh. You know what? This won't take a minute. I seriously do have to get to work, but we do have something cool. I don't even know if this is going to be a video. I have something cool to show them. Hold on. You come out here. All right. You get through it. I'll try. We had a ginormous Plano order that oh, came. That's beautiful. That's not what I'm going to show you, though. All right. Uh -huh. I, can't even, I don't know if I can get around the boat. We did a little something to the boat. It's not a big something. It's a cool little something. I don't know if I can get around here. Can you get around here? Probably. <clears throat> Um, you know what? What? Let's see here. I'm gonna watch the addresses. Mother will have fit. She can pull her out 73 boxes. <laughs> a boat is completely unloaded. Oh, yeah. The old lady did all the carpet. It's washed, everything. Beautiful. That's why the sheets are on the boat. But. Oh. You got this. Bend the knees. Let's go. <laughs> For the grind, boy. What For are you talking about? The grind. Smoke. There's something on this boat that we added. I felt it, it needed it, you know. It didn't really feel like my boat. But now it does. Are you ready for this? Okay. Big Shirsky? Oh, Fat yeah. Stacks? I go drinky. You ready? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. TJ81, boy. Oh, it's so beautiful. Dude, that carpet turned out like freaking awesome. I did. That was very snappy. Freak, freaking awesome, dude. Anyways, yeah. I'm not sure if I'll add anything else to the carpet, but I found one found one logo over there in the box. Like, you know what? Right there in the middle would be a perfect spot for it. Let's get on there. You know. Anyways, yeah, both all cleaned up. Washed. Carpet's done. I got all my new plano boxes ready to load up, get them in the boat. I want to get out ASAP. Freaking cold out there right now, though. Next week... It's probably going to be a great week to load all the boxes up because there's not a day above freezing, so I might be off work like all week. So that'd be pretty cool. Anyways, Mike, um, we can't really make a video just out of this logo. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, you know, might be a cool thumbnail. Yeah. All right. Maybe that could be. The, we'll do like a slow mo like. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Let's go um, rip up on that. You know what? What? We got a new EDC. Now we got a video. New Woo! EDC, little tech warehouse unboxing. Let's go do that. Then I gotta get to work. All right, here. Look, Fragile. What's the address? It's your fault. Fragile. Oh my gosh. That's French. If you knew that. Fragile. Fragile. <laughs> Very French. All right. We got one little thing. Try right, to clean up a reel. Get her spinning all nice and buttery. I know I need to do updated real cleaning videos and a lot of you guys found this channel from those videos I'll link them down below because you can basically use those videos really to clean any reel very detailed um, some of my favorite videos that I've made um, Or that I'm I guess I'm really happy with you know, and like I said you guys found this channel from those videos But anyways all we got Mike we got one order here. I don't believe there's a lot in it I guess for this real fast you want to set up the tripod. Yeah, because I'm sure you'll be like with the camera. You know what, dude? Real fast, real fast, real fast. <laughs> dude, you don't, just chill. This is from Leatherman, all right? And it popped up on Instagram. It was on sale. I was already looking at one of these, and it was like 60 bucks off. I was like, dude, if I'm going to get one, now's the time. 
This is the Leatherman Charge Plus. That's got the what um, G10 S30V steel, dude. That's a beautiful thing. I know they made these in three colors with the G10 S30V steel. It was red, orange, and black, depending where you buy them at. Um, depends on the color you're going to get. I believe Leatherman had the orange. I'm not sure who had black and red and all that. But that's kind of what's special about this particular one. It's the Charge Plus G10 uh, scales there. And it's got the S30V steel. Dude. Terrible father. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> yep. Dude, I'm, that might cut my finger off. Yeah, I might as well take it from you. Oh, it got a, oh it does. Cool. It's got a little stopper. I didn't know that. I was trying to push it down. Oh. A little stopper. Dude, if you guys want to see a video on this, there's a lot of little gadgets on here. And it even comes with this, the upgraded case there with all the little pockets and all that. It's got a little um, lanyard deal there, pocket clip, screwdrivers. I mean, it's a pretty killer deal for this particular one. I was looking at the um, the signal, but it's kind of more like the outdoorsman one. It's got like a fire starter thing and all that kind of on there. But uh, this is the, um, I believe this is one of the, the one of the better ones that they offer. And I just thought the tools that were in it kind of fit my needs a bit more. A few different knives and saws and all that kind of stuff on there. Did I really need it? No. Does it look cool? Yes. Do we have to have it? Yes. <laughs> but um, I think the, the only other one above this one is a titanium one, which I, I definitely wanted the one with the G10 scales on there. But like I said, the signal is nice too. But this actually was like 119 or something like that, which is actually cheaper than the signal. Signal's like 140. This was like 180. So got a good deal on it. So... Of course, I couldn't pass it off. Here's how I got to look at it. That's what I tell the wife. If I don't get it, it's like, you know, I'm wasting money because I got to pay full retail down the road, right? So it's like, how can you pass up a sale? You know, so if you guys need a little something to tell your wife, you know, you got to tell them like that. Look, basically, babe, I saved you money. You know, <laughs> I saved you money by buying it on sale. I have another blade down here, so I'll go ahead and use the new Leatherman to rip her open here. Are we at here? Nope. All right, real fast. S thirty V boy, like butter. Oh yeah. Small order here, guys. Um, I do apologize for the fast video. I'm like strapped for time. Been a crazy week with work and the weather. It snowed last night, screwing up my schedule and all that. So, um, what do we spend here? Had a couple gift cards here. I only spent three dollars and eighty-four cents, but I had like a hundred and a quarter in uh, gift cards. Okay, we got a couple square bills in here. You guys know I'm a square bill fanatic. Love shallow crank, and this color is awesome. By the way, these are the new Spro Outsider cranks, the SR55. Man, that color is sick, man. Um, color is called Nasty Pop. Nasty Pop. I am loving that. Nasty pop. Three-eighths of an ounce. Take one out here. I believe the deal with these, like the weight is on like the outside basically here. Yeah, weight on the outside creates unique action and better casting. Rolling and thumping action. Hybrid bait between square bill and flat sided crankbait. I mean, these look pretty killer. But they are, they're expensive. I mean, this is like mega bass territory. These are like almost like 20 bucks a piece. Okay, are these silent? They are silent. Wish they had rattles. Nice looking square bill though. These go um, looks like three to three to four feet. Runs three to four feet. You can see there. I guess that's kind of the weight down there by the eye. Small little bill. I'm loving the color though. Again, that is the nasty. Nasty pop. And then, of course, we had to get a craw color. I wanted to get a few of them. I wanted, like, a chartreuse color, but, man, a 20 bucks piece. I held back and only got two of them. This one is Super Delta Craw. Kind of like a, a matte finish on that one, too. That one looks really good. Super Delta Craw. 
So a couple square bills there. I think they normally run, what, Gamagatsu's on here? I believe they do. Yep, Gamagatsu hooks. Super, super sharp, very, very cool. Next up here we have, and these are much bigger than I thought they'd be. For four inch, it looks pretty big. These more, look more like, um, kind of like a Rage Lobster versus like a Rage Craw. These are, these are fairly big. I wish they were a bit smaller. Nice looking colors here. These are the Yamamoto Bates four inch uh, Yama Craw. Color is Fire Craw. But that's a fairly, fairly big craw there. Pretty big craw there. Yama Craw. Fire Craw. Only get six of them, so you might get, I don't know, maybe a fish or two out of the whole pack. <laughs> just joking. I'm just joking. But I believe these are like the new. Um, new formula, I believe, like they float and all that. So we got the fire craw, we got green pumpkin. Had to get the old green pumpkin there. Uh, black and blue, of course. And then um, this one here, I think it's called a yeah, plum apple. Good looking color, plum apple. I do like that. Yeah, good looking color there. Plum apple. Plum apple. So four of those. Four of those there. Then we got uh, some more Yamamoto stuff here. I wanted to ha have all the new baits that came out in that floating uh, formula. I don't believe these ones are though. I think these are. These are the um, the Ned floater, three inch Ned Cinco floater. Again in that fire craw color. That fire craw color. I'm sure you guys seen one of my last Tackle Warehouse orders, and I don't remember what they were in there. Um, I think it was a, the Slinko, Slinky, Slinko. That bait is one of their new floating ones. This one here, um, the Yama Craw. I thought there was one more. I thought I had them all. Anyways, another one I picked up was the Psycho Dad, again in the fire craw color. Cool little bait there, Psycho Dad. Take one of them out. The package is like stuck. The Psycho Dad. Good looking bait there. Psycho Dad. Might Nico rig that? Maybe a Ned head, jig trailer, shaky head, I don't know. But I like that color. I've used them in the past, so I wanted to pick up the, the fire craw color. I'm sure I still got some of those left in the, in the black and blue and green pumpkin. Okay. Then we got uh, another Yamamoto, Yama, well, I can't say Yamamoto today. Another Yamamoto bait. Uh, this one is called the 7 inch Speed Cinco. Good looking colors here. These are actually kind of similar. I thought they looked much different online. But uh, this one is, uh, I guess they're a bit different. I guess they're both just kind of darker looking colors. This one I thought was more lighter online. This is the Speed Cinco 7 inch Gooseberry Laminate. Gooseberry Laminate. I guess it's kind of like a, a June bug and it kind of looks like two different June bugs in a way. I know it's kind of weird saying that, but it's like, um, you can see the June bug on this side, this side kind of looks like June bug too, depending on which company or brand you're getting it from, just because June bug varies a lot from like Berkeley to striking and all that. They both kind of look like June bug on either side there. Good looking color. It'll work. You guys know I fished that pretty uh, stained and muddy water there, so definitely a good color for me, but I thought it was more of a, a natural color. Put that away later there. Looks like they got some plastic sleeves in there too to kind of keep them straight. And this one here is the plum apple that you guys seen in that um, Yama Craw there. Plum apple. And then last up, I think we've got a couple more things in here. Yeah, okay, these are 
the spunk shads, but in the missile baits colors, which I thought was pretty cool. So these are the actual spunk shads, but they're using the um, the missile baits colors. So this is a fantastic um, bladed jig trailer. You guys know I don't like a trailer that has any type of action at all. I don't like a boot tail or a craw. I like the blade to give the action to the trailer. So I like kind of like a do-nothing trailer, a finesse worm, a bait like this, um, Strike King, where they got they got the um, they have the blade minnow, just things like that. Um, that way the blade can give the action to the trailer and they're not fighting against each other. So here is the Spunk Shad 4.5 in Bruiser Flash. Bruiser Flash. We got them in, this is more of kind of a translucent type color almost. It ain't like pearl. It's a frosted purple. It'll be good for like just a white or any type, any type of shad pattern uh, just to give it a little more bulk and profile, but it's not really a, a real like bold color. Frosted purple. Okay. Had to get, had to get the lava craw, your typical fire craw type color. I really like this one here, that red and orange mix there. Good looking color. Really do like that one. And to be honest, my favorite one here is probably this one right here. I love this color. Uh, it's called uh, Green Pumpkin Delight. I think, I think um, what, B. Heights got that color. And uh, I'm assuming that's why he's he's got this color here to kind of go with it. I think it's in the, the jackhammer. Um, B. Height Delight or something like that. And this color will go great with that. Really excited about that color there. Take one out here for you guys. It's kind of like a... Kind of like um, a green pumpkin, kind of like a green pumpkin to chartreuse and pearl. A lot of silver flake in there, just a, just a good looking color. Digging that. Oh yeah. I think we need a little more light behind the camera, but this camera does a pretty good job at picking up those colors. Yeah, digging that. Again, that is the green pumpkin delight. Very cool. And guys, that's all we got. Like I said, just spent a couple gift cards, got a handful of baits, really excited about, really everything, but really excited about these square bills. You guys know if I could pick one bait to fish, probably the rest of my life, it's going to be a square bill. I mean, I absolutely love them. Guys, hate to cut you short. I got to run and get to work. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.